was a 167 amateur wrestling champion, and I was a Golden Gloves champion, and uh, I was starving. I was just on the street, and the coach offered me 25 bucks to fight this guy named Larry Henny, man, and he was 320 pounds, and he had warts on his nose and his teeth and hair coming out of his teeth and ears, man. <laughs> and he, and he, I, I, I have the, I have the shortest match in the history of the Winnipeg Arena. It lasted 10 seconds. I was 167 pounds. 15 years old, my pipe band played me in, they crawled out, <laughs> he killed me in 10 seconds, man. <laughs> Boom, down I was. <laughs> you know, but that only happened once, and then they put me in a car. I was, remember, I was sitting in the dressing room, and, they, and the promoter comes up, and he's got my eyes over here, and my nose over here, and he says, kid, you did great. How would you like to go to Kansas City? I swear. I said, is Larry Henning going to be there? That's the guy I just fought. 300 He said, no, no, we won't overmatch you. And they stuffed me in a car, man, and, and, and they put blankets over me, and they snuck me over the border into America. And then they had me fighting in tough man contests until I was 19 years old, and I won the light uh, heavyweight championship of the world in the Olympic Auditorium. And uh, they got me a green card and taxes and all kinds of stuff. The only other person I've been afraid of like that of is Larry Henning. There's only two people. I'm not afraid of Larry anymore is my wife. And she's 4'11 and a half <laughs> and 100 pounds, and she's a poisonous dwarf. Let me tell you what she did one time. <laughs> Let me tell you what she did. Let me tell you what that poisonous dwarf did. She says to me, first, the first little ranch we want to have. I'm on the road. I'm going hardcore, man. I'm fighting anybody who wants to fight. So I get a phone call. My wife says to me, she says, you know, Rod, um, she just little thing. She says, now, Roderick, she says, I'd like to buy two horses. I'm the man of the family. We only need one horse. One horse is all you're going to have. She bought a pregnant horse. I swear <laughs> she did. So you see, this ring goes right from here, right into there. As soon as I get home, man. She's the only other person I'm afraid of. Is she Scottish as well? Uh, yes, she is. Yeah, it's, yeah. A good, it's a good Scottish height. Four foot eleven. Yeah, well, my mother was four foot eleven. Yeah. Yeah. That's such good. a good answer. I forgot what the question was. <laughs> does, she, does she know that you call her the poisonous dwarf? You oh, call sure. her that to yeah, her face? Yeah, yeah with, with the distance. Does she not bite your knees? With the distance, you know. Yeah, she's like Ellie Mae Clamp, and she's got, man, she's got barn cats, horses, five dogs, uh, birds, uh, got, um, hamsters, uh, uh, me, uh, me <laughs> a chain, you know, all kinds of stuff at home. She's so like Ellie There was a time when you just said of, about men who sing. What, what would you have said years ago about, about men, men who sing, sing? pop songs? Yeah. Uh, I got a lot of. I you see, I'm the kind of guy. I can make Madonna <laughs> blush. Pardon me, was I making myself at home there? <laughs> Did anybody else get a little juicy fool here? I, uh, I can make Madonna blush and singing, singing something I've done all my life, but just nobody ever asked me to. Um, in the shower, uh, I sang, you know, I, I sing in the car, and I've been, I came fifth in the world in bagpipe competitions when I was 14 years old. And so it's just something that has been part of me, and I, I made a feature film with John Carpenter. Uh, and after that, then Sony Records, uh, uh, Tony uh, Wolcott and his producer Stuart Coleman, great people, uh, convinced me to do a single and an album. And I did it, and I put my heart in it. And matter of fact, in the video, man, in the video, you see, I tried to show you where I was making the part. That old man there was my coach. And um, when I quit, I did, I, I give him a kilt, you know, and, and he did, he cried. and. I don't know whether he's crying because he was losing a payday or whether he liked me. I'm not sure which, but I tried to put it in the video that uh, I was leaving the sport and I was going on to singing. And this is what I'm going to do. I got great fans. About. I'm just a little ray of sunshine is what I have. A little ray of sunshine. Yeah, you're you're exhausting. Like. Now, how on earth do we get from this to King Lear? King Louis? No, King Lear. <laughs> King Lear. Well, well, it could have just as well been King Louis, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the answer, actually, probably heavy words written.